This is an average rate question. So it would make sense to set up the three T's. And here we're focusing on the relationship between the two pieces of the distance equaling the total distance and the two pieces of the time equaling the total time. And you could do this uh, algebraically, you can do it picking numbers. Let's start with the algebra. And I would fill in the easy information first, the rates, uh, 40 and 60. Very easy to place. And we're looking for the average speed for the entire trip. So we're looking for the this box, maybe put a box there just to remind yourself. We know that uh, Francine traveled X percent of the total at 40. And the rest at 60. So why not just say that um, I guess she traveled X percent at this distance. And then if we're talking about percents, the total would be 100 and then because this plus this equals this, it must be that this is 100 minus x. Really easy way to do the, the algebra here. And then we're just uh, solving for the time so that we can get the total time from which we can get the average rate. Notice that we we're using the rates here, but only within their own t's. We're using this rate to figure out the time same thing this to figure out this but they don't we don't use them to figure out the average rate you don't average the averages to get the weighted average you add the totals and then you divide So that is our rate. And then as usual, we flip, take the reciprocal and multiply by the uh, distance. You can pick numbers for this one. Process is very similar. Pop in the rates. The given, we're not given the distance, so you could just pick it. I would pick a multiple of uh, 40 and 60. So um, 120 for each is great. We're making the distances the same. That's not a coincidence. That just makes your life easier because if the distances are, are the same, what percent did you travel at 40? Well, 50, right? Because you traveled half the trip at 40. So now um, our X is already calculated for us. And then we're doing what we normally do uh, with average rate questions. Uh, we already have the top um, laid out, but we just add the times, right? And we get our... Uh, rate, which is this, we can use our doubling trick 40 over 10. And we can see that our average rate is 48. Now with uh, picking numbers, it's the we don't have the answer yet, we need to find 48, plugging in 50 for x. You can use a little trick here. You know that we're looking for a number that's divisible by three because 48 is divisible by three. So our answer choice, the numerator must be divisible by three. So this is a really easy way to eliminate some stuff. I'm just plugging in the X, right? 180 minus the uh, 50 is 130. 
This one's 110, clearly not divisible by 3. Not divisible by 3. 612,000 both are. Um, you can do, you can eliminate the, uh, D based on two things. One, the magnitude. It's just going to be way too small. There's no way that 600 over 115 minus 50 is going to be even close to 48. The other way you can do it is, again, you can use the divisibility idea that we used with 3. But this time, we know that uh, 48 also has it's uh, 2 to the 4th in it, right? It's 2 to the 4th times 3. 600 does not have 4 2s in it. You can see that really quickly just by dividing by 2 a few times. It has 3 2s. But not, um, we can't go a fourth time, right? We can divide by 2 here. We can divide by 2 here. And we can divide by 2 here. The fourth one won't go evenly. So you can see that D is out. You can also, once you have only two choices left, you could just plug in the numbers and, and uh, do it that way.